What's up guys, it's your boy John and look at that. We back again here with another video. This is the biggest head unit I ever reviewed. This is a 13.3 inch 1080p display. It's absolutely gorgeous. IPS panel, great viewing angles and wow, the colors just pop. Now this is the Vivid line and it's the 3OS Max Scout Vivid. The Scout's for the US market and then the Vivid is for the European, China, and Russia market. Uh, so I'll, I'll put a link down below if you're interested in this. But let's just look at this behemoth. Now this car right here is an Acura uh, NSX. It's a two-seater, so it's tiny. It's a, it's, a, it's a coupe. But look at that. I installed the biggest head unit I can absolutely find. And yeah, it doesn't flow completely. Imagine if you have a normal car, but as a small car, this actually still works. I can still drive. It's 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 amazing. It's like having a Tesla. You know, their screens were too big and now it's just normal. So 13.1080p display, it's crazy. Now let me fire this up for you guys so you guys can see what it's all about. I'm gonna put it on accessory mode. Boom, it fires right up, and you can see the colors are nice and punchy. Let me try to get the camera to show some really good settings. Now it automatically went to Z-Link right there, which is super cool. That means it's going to the last thing it's, uh, that was open. And then now it's connecting to Android Auto wirelessly. So I didn't press anything. Let me, but yeah, Android Auto's right here, super cool, very punchy. And um, yeah, you know how Android Auto is. You will get, um, because this is a larger display, you'll get multi-app use kind of thing where, uh, you got this, which will show like the music, or you can have the maps here and the Spotify here. Let me see if that's showing up in camera. So that's just saying, hey, why don't you select something? And you can even have the mini, the mini map does show up there. Well, not a mini map, but the topological kind of navigation based map for Google Maps. And here are the buttons on the side, which I really like because I drive a, depending on your car, not all cars have steering controls, and this is a function you could add. You can buy like some third party stuff, which is kind of cool. You can have them stick right here and stuff like that. But you know, I don't, I generally don't like to buy extra accessories. I mean, I don't think anybody really does, but um, it is very nice to have steering controls. If you don't, then having like, controls on the head unit itself is nice. I know some Android, Android head unit manufacturers omit it, so it's a more cleaner look, which I get. But I'm telling you, just having the volume up and down and stuff like that, the home button right here, uh, this is the EQ equalizer, and then you have a navigation. This right here is a microphone. So let's get back to the main menu, which is this interface, and with the new the new line from Vivid and Scout they have this kind of like car layout which I think does look aesthetically pleasing it's more of a modern look you got the rounded uh, the border radius is actually rounded off right there which is cool then we have uh, split kind of thing so you can play your music here and then you have on this card uh, your navigation now the navigation for me, I don't use too much. It does use the GPS and all, like 4G connection, which I don't use. So uh, sadly enough, this portion I don't use too much because I don't have uh, Wi-Fi uh, like tethering kind of 4G-ness to it. But um, it does work when it needs to. See, it's kind of it's kind of it's on the slower side. So when I use this, I don't use this interface. I use the um, I use this right here, which is fast, snappy. I mean, look, I, I know you might not be able to see it, but um, it's fast and snappy, and it's it's pulling data from my Android phone. So this is the the newest, the Samsung. Uh, this is the Galaxy Fold. So it's the one that is like a foldable tablet. You can open it and like there's like oh look at that there's a screen inside, so it works with the latest and greatest and it also I feel like sometimes it even has better compatibility with the older models. Now I know I get a lot of questions when it comes to 
hey, this is an Android head unit. Does this work with my Apple? The question is yes, it does work with your Apple wired. So you can plug it in with a cable or wirelessly. So you just come in and like this right here is wireless. It's, there's no wires. It's great. And then you'll see like an icon on the top. I know you probably can't get that in focus, but it'll just say Android Auto on the top right there. So Apple. It actually, in my studies, in my experience over these, you know, hundreds of Android head unit videos I've did, it works better on Apple than Android, which is crazy because this is an Android head unit and you would think Android head unit should play nice with Android head unit. But I guess because, you know, Apple is more tight knitted, they can focus on compatibility better. So every iPhone I use, it's smoother, it works better. That, wirelessly and wired is just better but now with this new vivid and scout line from the Sida, it's actually finally you know i had no hiccups wirelessly on my setup right here so there's that so let me just go through the interface while we, we walk through that right here so we were talking about the local music and then you got the radio um at, you have your app drawers on the bottom and I have home uh, GPS music. This is like your home navigation screen with the app drawer. Then you have Z-Link, which is where you're going to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I have a little camera right here. So this is like shortcuts um, on your, your quick access, which you use last. And then I do installed. So I have a roof. This is a 1995 car. So... Uh, <laughs> You betcha it did not have a reverse camera and I installed a reverse camera onto this car. Now when you have an, uh, an older car, all the let me just, I know you might not be interested in the wiring, let me just tell you how it is. It's just basically a red wire and a black wire for power and then it has the yellow RCA jack from like, you know back in the older days before HDMI there was like the red, white and red. <laughs> red white and yellow sorry yeah so you just plug in the yellow and in the back of this head unit there's gonna be a yellow one boom now you have video signal and then red wire black wire if you don't know too much about electricity and like uh, wiring red is positive black is ground you connect the two wires and then you get power and then this car does, then speaking of just backup cameras, it does have front camera, but I didn't install one yet. So there's two RCA jacks where you can put a front camera, rear camera, and then you can also install an auxiliary, like if you want to put a, a, I don't know, a game system or something like that. But yeah, the resolution's fine. These lines are baked in. You can actually adjust that stuff too. So that's on you. But you know, having a reverse camera is so nice, especially on an older car. Uh, the install wasn't too bad now let me just go through the interface if you guys never seen the vivid it slash scout app store let me just open that for you right here I guess there's some permissions sure looks good oh there's a continue right here I guess I'm not connected to the internet. That's fine. But there's the app store, SMS, phone. It's pretty basic settings. We'll go through that later because it's a little bit more sensitive. Wheel cut key studies is for your steering wheel controls if you have it. So if you had your car, your car had steering wheel controls, you can come in here, type in a bunch of like. Um, basically, what happens is you you press a button on the steering wheel. Uh, then it says what do you want it to do so it's cool because it keeps that compatibility and you don't have to buy any extra hardware I'll show you the amplifier so this is how it looks like with all the EQ now I keep it pretty basic here this is how I like music depends on what you're shooting for DVD now this card does not have a DVD drive so I'm kind of interested on in seeing what that is right there it might be an extra accessory that um, it's looking for but uh, out of the factory there's no DVD tray on these head units for this particular model 
We've got front cam, video, TPMS. TPMS is really nice too. You can check all of your steering pressure. That's it's an extra accessory again. Just show you how it looks. And you can see that my quick toggle right here has changed over time. For my most part, let me tell you about all these applications. You can get really into it. You can get download applications so it syncs to your car and all that. But for my case, I just drive. When I in my car, I drive. Sometimes I watch videos if I'm like at a fast food place. But I'm just driving for the most part. So Z Link is where it's at right there. Just Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and I'm done. So very cool all right so i set the camera down just so it's a little bit more stabilized and you guys can follow a lot easier so when it comes to settings let me zoom in a little bit punch in a little bit more um that's where the meat and potatoes are generally uh, at for this so we have display uh, then we have software so when it comes to software <laughs> It's generically set to like a Honda come in 2019 and it shows a BMW looks like a M4 or something like that but you can change it and you can update it so this is the software I picked Honda because I don't know we I don't have any like again this car is so old it doesn't have any steering controls but if you had a certain car you can select it here and then you can say you had a Ford F-150 or Focus I guess it'll be able to maybe pull some steering wheel data or you can manually do it and then you have your your model name vivid uh px6 android auto i'm uh, sorry android 10 and uh, then we go to so that was display so i have it to never for display software we just saw that vivid now i don't have an account but you can sign up wireless connection I don't have it, anything hooked up right now because when you're on Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, what happens is it talks to Bluetooth, does a little handshake, and then it streams the data through the Wi-Fi connection. So it's a direct peer-to-peer. -peer. That way your, con your phone can talk to the Android Auto head unit thing or Apple CarPlay, and then you get more bandwidth over than Bluetooth. Then you hit notifications, and this is what you have, navigation and media. So pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. Let me just turn off the media. I don't need notifications for media or navigations. I'm trying to keep it cut down on that. And then, so that was the settings, and I believe there's another settings, if I saw it correctly. Maybe not. Let me see if I can pull one down here. So there's that's the notification tool. And then if you drag it through down through the notification bar, these are the more Android kind of thing right here. So if you're familiar with an Android tablet or phone, you'll be more used to this. Bluetooth, keystone. Key sounds. So if you want, if you don't want that sound to keep beeping when you're moving it, you can turn it off right here. I usually like it off. But some people like that kind of feedback saying, hey, you press the screen. And then there's some more extra settings like car. You can change the LEDs on the on the headlights. So I just turn on the headlights and you have these all red. Oops. Let's go back to settings. Car element. You should be able to adjust. You can see it right here. These are getting adjusted. My car has like more like a red amber interior, so hence the red. The steering controls, driver settings. Driving settings is important. So, um, if you're trying to watch YouTube or Netflix and it's just a black screen, make sure you enable watching video. Just a little tip right there. Extra settings. So I have it on auto sleep. So what that means is shut down delay when ACC off. That's accessory mode when your key is into the accessory position. Now, let's say you go into the store and you come back. It's only been 30 minutes. 
if you put if you leave it at one hour the car will instantly the head unit will instantly boot, boot like basically right here right here you know how when you turn on your phone it instantly boots it's never off it's sleeping so you, when you press the but now if I turn off my phone and I turn it on it's gonna take a while so I leave it on auto sleep because even I haven't drove this car in like two weeks when I turn on the key it instantly turned on now that does take some power out of your battery but auto sleep kind of manages it so you should never have a flat battery so this has been two weeks this car doesn't isn't driven because it's my um, my second car and it's been like the weather's been pretty bad outside but there's that and then you have factory settings let me see if I know the code it's usually one two six Let's see that did it and yeah one two six and from here you can change the logos or do you want the Sida or um, you can put your own logos which is really cool uh, but um, you know that's the code if you want to go there but yeah that's the basic look of the the Sida vivid scout unit 13.3 inch 1080p it's I'm gonna tell you, it's amazing. The colors are so punchy, and I highly recommend this unit if you can fit this head unit into your car. Now, the, the install itself was super easy, didn't have any issues. Um, check out my other Android head unit install videos if you're interested in that, but I'm telling you, that it's easy, it just fit right in. Um, of course, the size is huge, so it really depends on your car. Now, this is one of the smallest cars you know in United States um, and then of course there's like the smart cars and stuff like that but I'm talking this is a two-seater it's tight but if you have a sedan you have a Ralph 4 you have an Accord you have a Kia or a Nissan Altima you know the list goes on you're gonna be in a better shape than this this is kinda like the worst case scenario because this car is so tiny but it still works here okay I still can have access to my AC controls in the back and all that now, you know, if you guys stayed long enough t in this video, make sure to hit that smash button. And if you were interested in this product, check in the links down below. You know, thank you guys for watching for so much and supporting the channel. I hope you like this, these little walkthroughs and going through the OS and seeing all the, the cool stuff that the, you know, modern era, you know, it's 2022 coming up. Things are interesting. I hope everyone have a fantastic day and happy holidays to the end of 2021. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.